Christian or the sun special or sun different. If they ever stood next to a real nigga, stand next to you and some miss them. They may talk a good game, somebody may come this way. I'm conditioned to see the bitch in you. I don't care, you're 81 or 22. All that back and forth is finna get into. Said what I said in a minute, too. Hey, man. 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 Damn, like, yeah, nigga doing the like, most on the internet, every little chance a nigga get go viral. Oh, I'm going to woo, 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 pray for him, you know, that, that. but, you know what I'm talking about, woo, 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 you feel me? Then, you making songs for, like, nigga lying, like, bitch, you like, riding like, nothing. Yeah, like trying to get in the game, nigga. Take your ass out the game, like, right now, nigga. Drop some shit, like, boy, you really would, like, you should have made one of your little faggot ass little sons. Right a rap, right? Cause that shit really like booted in. <laughs> that shit, that shit really, that shit really like, that shit really like, that shit really like booted in. You feel me? Damn, damn. Come on, that call, that call, like niggas trying to call the radio, call the big boy, them old oh, cancel the music, let us sign the petition. Like, you niggas really mad because you niggas can't rap better than me, so y'all really just trying to look, okay, boo boo boo, trying to take them out. Like, but, you know what I mean? Fuck this pussy ass shit. Like, bitch, man, listen, I'm in my own lane. Y'all gotta come to me because this is where y'all come at for the swag. This is where y'all come to me for. Man, stop playing it, bitch, man. For real. This, man, I'm talking about bitch. Kill my dog. Time to that be ugly as hell. I don't even want to. And I'll probably take it. And check it out now. Oh, hell nah. This ain't finna end well, people. Pray for Kodak. Now, listen, ladies and gentlemen. If y'all know the whole story or know the, the myth or whatever, the rumor, basically, T.I. swung on Floyd Mayweather Jr., a goddamn championship boxer, undefeated money Mayweather, the best ever, swung on him in some fucking restaurant over his wife. So if you know one thing about T.I., he's willing to die for his family, Okay. However, this back and forth between T.I. and Kodak and even the game has gotten involved. Pretty much, you got somebody like Kodak. He looked like he's trying to channel the Tupac in him. Okay, remember he said, yo, he's like the new kind of, he didn't say the new pop, but he said, like, his music is as deep as Pox and Biggie. Okay? Now, he's on some Pox shit because he beefing with everybody and he's down for the smoke with everybody, okay? Now, he did apologize to Lauren London because he said some stuff about Lauren London, which is the, I guess she's the widow of Nipsey Hussle, even though they officially get married. But even though he apologized to Lauren London, he won't smoke with everybody else who jumped in, including T.I. in the game. Now, after T.I. dropped this track where he was expeditiously trying to scold a young whippersnapper like Kodak Black, he was saying lines like, and you got to imagine, come on, T.I., you got to get those long words the fuck out of here when you dissing people, when you in the schoolyard, niggas don't care about your long words, niggas just care about you saying disrespectful shit. Regardless, he dropped a verse on one of YB in the middle track where he was like, yo, I'm conditioned to see the vision. I don't care if you ain't a 22. All that back and forth, what you trying to get into, I said what I said and I meant it to. Okay, not too disrespectful, but pretty firm. What you would normally expect from at least present day T.I. Now, T.I. back in the day when he was beefing with, of course, a little flip and loot and all that, he was mad disrespectful. But these days, he is chilling. Now, Kodak, the young nigga, Project Baby, he ain't got that much chill in his veins because he dropped a track called Expeditiously and he went straight at the noggin of T.I. Now, hear these bars. And by the way, the game caught a couple strays too. This is what he said. He says, on the news, he tipped me. That boy got no feelings. Sue Whoop put the pole on little buddy. They say the game tripping. Old heads ain't hitting on nothing. I say them boys kidding. I want all the smoke out the stove. But I don't even roll Phillies. How the hell you calling me out when you know I don't listen? How you try to put me in timeout when I ain't big boy children? 
Nigga, waiting for me to fall off just like that boy Gilly say they ride for me till the wheel fall off. I'll be like, oh, really? How you tell me what could come out of my mouth and you don't even know Nipsey? Tiny, that bitch ugly as hell. I don't even want piggy. I can't beat you niggas. It's talking. Give me a long sentence. No, I keep the pole and I ain't no hoe. I know some rolling 60s and I'm thugging all on my lonely, but I keep some zoes with me. How the hell you cancel a nigga and I don't even smoke tobacco. Mute me when I voice my opinion and I ain't even know it matter. God damn. Now, I won't say those were the most top tier bars I've ever heard, but the disrespect was definitely overt and blatant. Basically, he's telling T.I. he want all the smoke, don't give a fuck, and to be honest, all the fuck shit he on, he with the fuck shit too. Gotta be honest with y'all, I always said to y'all, who gonna check Kodak? Now, I think Kodak kind of realizes that he probably shouldn't say what he said, and whether that apology to Lauren London was sincere or not, he apologized, right? But one thing with Kodak is that he has a ego like a lot of young niggas from the streets, and he's somebody that looked like he'll die behind his ego. Because it's not about the situation with Lauren London or Nipsey Hussle no more that got him making songs and being all mad. It's literally about a nigga trying to disrespect him in his eyes. So for him, he'll die over that shit. Okay? So he ain't gonna let no li- nobody little nigga him online. And this is why we got this here. I'm just hoping everybody stays safe, to be honest. Because at this point, I'm looking at it and this could go either way. Okay, do I think T.I. is going to go do some dumb shit? No, but this is what I've always realized. Kodak starts moving a certain type of way when he has problems. Last time we had some problems with some Florida niggas, they caught him with a gun in the crib on Instagram Live. You start moving a certain type of way when you from that type of environment when you got problems and you're moving around because you got to be on your P's and Q's. The cops is watching like, I right, bet he beefing. Let's go raid his shit. That's how they catch you lacking. Hopefully Kodak stays safe. Hopefully T.I. realizes that, bro, continue to beef with this guy who is high-headed. And again, it's not a really about musical or who's more talented with bars. This kid just really just trying to make a point that nobody could check him. And if you ain't on that, and again, rest in peace of Nipsey Hussle, Lauren London ain't that offended where she's like up in arms about it or she's directly telling you to do something about it. It wouldn't seem that way. Let it go. Because at this point, you're seeing uh, the cycle that probably led to even Nipsey getting murdered. Somebody's ego being bruised and people willing to do anything trying to make themselves feel better and them look better in the outcome, Okay. That doesn't work, especially with men of color, okay? We don't want to see lives lost, and hopefully this shit gets squashed, all right? Get in the comments, make sure you guys like them, subscribe to the boys, like that makes.